Thanks for getting on Zoom with me. I know, I'm in a sorry. That was engagement sorry that I ripped while I was breaking quarantine with a boy while I was drunk. And I hate this boy. I think I love him. Except for, well, you know what, never mind. <laughs> this story is insane. Here's the story. I am never talking to that physical embodiment of a red flag ever again. Whenever she has a bunch of drama, I try to resist it and I just get sucked into her vortex. But this time, I'm done. If I seem like an asshole in this story, it's only because I was an asshole for only this one moment. I'm kidding, I know I'm an asshole. The story begins what? Idiotic technology. Mm -hmm. The story begins because I told one lie. Oh wait, two. No, three lies. I have made a mess of things. How did the four of us even come together? Fate? Kind of retribution? You know, it's kind of funny. It almost kind of reminds me of... Oh, son of a bitch. I am living the demented plot of a Bollywood movie. So here's where it all began. I mean... I was putting this in in Sin City, dropping sick beats every single night. I'm a DJ. It's pretty fire. Sandia worked at 800 degrees pizza. I was paying my dues, okay? But you know your girl, okay? I'm always on a hustle. I was... Concerning. It was also concerning. I had a SoundCloud. There was nothing on it for three years. She was living on a couch. I was living on a couch. But at least I had my independence. I mean, I think the reason I became a pizza slaying DJ is because I'm a dreamer. And all of my dreams began when I watched my very first Bollywood movie. I mean, it was life changing. Showing her Bollywood, my favorite movies produced by my homeland. Seeing her little face light up. Ah, we may be so different, but this we had together. There's the strapping leading man. <laughs> the beautiful but never knows it, but played by Ashwarya Rai, virginal woman. Plot twists, the love triangles, the characters who inexplicably die, the parents that stand in the way of true love. God, iconic. I used to think that my own life would be a Bollywood movie, and I was dead wrong. Because life sits above you with a funnel and spends all day and night just shitting down your throat. It is constant bills and pain and rejection for not being the right look. And when they say that, they mean I am too Indian. No zesty musical numbers here. I don't know when I became so unhappy. And to top it all off. COVID-19. The end of the goddamn world. I was so worried about her being out there all by herself in the middle of the pandemic. And you know, those Vegas people are filthy. Not a hand washer in sight. So my mom asked, no, she begged. I shouted at her. For me to come back home. She needs home right now. She needs guidance from her mother. This is what I told her. I am your compass. Let me finger you in the right direction. I want to die. So I packed my bag, well, I packed my trash bag, slung it over my shoulder, went home, opened the door. Holy shit. It wasn't my mom standing there. It was my worst nightmare. It was her, Caitlin. 